In this video, we come across a minimization problem instead. We wish to minimize z equals to 5x1 plus 6x2 subject to the following constraints. When we explained our mechanism before, things make sense when we have maximization problem. An easy way to apply our previous mechanism to minimization problem is that we can multiply negative 1 to the right hand side of the objective function and then we treat that we are dealing with maximization problem instead. Therefore, instead of to minimize 5x1 plus 6x2, we maximize negative 5x1 minus 6x2. But still, we will call this new expression as ez. But this ez is different from the original ez that we refer to when we were minimizing 5x1 plus 6x2. Please be careful about this point. Next, we observe that all the variables are now non-negative and all the right-hand side constant in the constraints are non-negative. But they are having greater than or equals to symbols. So we subtract a surplus variable and add an artificial variable to each constraint. Since we have included two artificial variables, we need to subtract m times a1 and subtract m times a2 to the objective function of our maximization problem. The linear programming problem in standard form is shown here. Please note the following remarks. First, the two artificial variables are different. They can take different values throughout the deduction. However, for both of them, our target is to force them to be zero when the solution is optimal. As long as the value of m is huge enough, we can simply use the same m as the constant to a1 and a2 when we modify the objective function. There is no need to subtract m1 times a1 minus m2 times a2 with two different huge constant m1 and m2 here. The second remark is that in this illustration, we first change our minimization problem into maximization problem before we subtract artificial variables to the objective function. Don't make the careless mistakes of subtracting artificial variables to the minimization problem first before changing it to the maximization problem. Otherwise, you will get maximize z equals to negative 5x1 minus 6x2 plus ma1 plus ma2. And this is wrong. Remember that our reasoning of having minus ma1 minus ma2 to the objective function of the maximization problem is to make a1 and a2 to be very unattractive. Since a1 and a2 are non-negative, the smallest value they can take is 0. However, if we wrongly maximize z equals to negative 5x1 minus 6x2 plus m times a1 plus m times a2, z will become very large, finally, as we would be taking a1 and a2 to be positive instead. Let us proceed with this system which has been written in the standard form and we represent it in the tabular form as follows. We have 2m here for coefficients of a1 and a2 in the objective function. We need to make them 0 one by one. First, we can add negative m times row 1 to the original row 0 to get a new row 0 as follows. This help eliminating the big M here for the columns representing a1. Next, 
we can apply negative m times row 1 to the original row 0 here to get the new row 0 as follows. This helps eliminating the big M here as the column representing A2. Now we locate that the key column is the column containing X2 since the coefficients here is the most negative among all the coefficients of the variables in row 0 because M is a huge number. The key row is the second row because this ratio is positive and is the smallest. We first divide row 2 by 4 to make this number to be 1. So we get this new system. And then we need to make use of this row 2 and apply row operations to make all other entries in this key column to be 0. With the following steps, it help us reach this system. There are still negative coefficients for some variables in row 0. This number is more negative and therefore the column containing x1 is the key column. Correspondingly, row 1 is the key row because this ratio is positive and is the smallest. We continue our usual deduction and finally reach the last system. There is no more negative coefficients for the variables in row 0. If we take x1 equals to 8, x2 equals to 2, e1, e2, a1, and a2 to be 0, and ez equals to negative 52, the solution is optimal. This means that when we treat z to be negative 5x1 minus 6x2 minus ma1 minus m times a2, we get the maximum value of negative 52 for this case. And it corresponds to the conclusion that if we take z to be 5x1 plus 6x2, then the value of this z is minimized and the minimum value is positive 52, which is achieved when x1 equals to x and x2 equals to 2. Be careful that the two ez expressions shown here are representing different objective functions.